Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on volume of prisms. What you'll learn, I'll list two headings you would use to make an outline for the lesson. What we'll learn is how to find the volume of a rectangular prism. and how to find the volume of a triangular prism. In our vocabulary startup, recall that a prism is a polyhedron with two parallel congruent bases. The bases of a rectangular prism are rectangles, and the bases of a triangular prism are, I'm kidding, triangles. So write rectangular prism or triangular prism on the line below each figure. Well, our bases in the first one are rectangles, so this is a rectangular prism. And in number two, the bases here are triangles, as you can see. And so this would be a triangular prism. And now with our real world link, suppose you observed a camping tent from directly above. What geometric figure would you see? Well, from directly above, that would be a rectangle. And the formula for a rectangle is area equals length times width. So our first key concept is volume of a rectangular prism. The volume V of a rectangular prism is the product of the length L the width w, and the height h. It is also the area of the base times the height. And notice that this is a big B here. It's a capitalized B. And when you look at our picture, here's our base down here. And it is a rectangle. And of course, how do we find the area of a rectangle? Well, we take length times width. So the area of the base is length times width, which is why we can put length times width times height. This volume equals area of base times height is really key because this formula can be used to find the volume of any rectangular prism. And now a little bit of background on volume. The volume of a three-dimensional figure is the measure of space it occupies. It is the measure in cubic units, such as cubic centimeters or cubic inches. It takes two layers here of 36 cubes to fill this box, and so the volume would be 72. In our guided example, find the volume of the rectangular prism. Well, volume equals length times width times height. 5 times 4 times 3 is 60. And I'm going to show you just something a little bit different here, but yet the same. Find the volume of the rectangular prism shown below. Well, if we start with volume equals capitalized B times the height, remember this capitalized B is area of base. Well, our base in this rectangular prism is a rectangle. And so we could use still then what we used in the guided example, volume equals length times width times height. And for this, we'll substitute in nine and a half for our length, five for our width, and three for our height. So nine and a half for our length, five for our width, and the height is three. And when we multiply these numbers together, we get 142 and five tenths meters cubed. And that's my solution, 142 and 5 tenths meters to the third power, cubic meters, or meters to the third. Next, we have volume of a triangular prism. The volume V of a triangular prism is the area of the base times the height. And here we do once again see volume equals capitalized B times the height. And what's the shape of our base but a triangle? This note here is important. Do not confuse the height of the triangular base here, this red dashed line, 
with the height of the prism. Both are lowercase h's, so you do need to be careful to make sure you're using the correct ones. So as we move on to our guided example, find the volume of the triangular prism shown. Well, here's our triangle. Here's our base. Now, volume equals the area of the base times the height, and I would actually include one more step right here. I would include in volume equals the area of the triangle is one-half base times height, then times the height of the prism. And so when you see this one-half times six times eight, it's because they're taking one-half times the, they call the base six, the height eight, and then times the height of the prism was nine. Multiply those together to get 216. So let's try this on our own in this got it question. Volume is going to equal the area of the base, so capitalized B, times the height of the prism. Now I would substitute in here the one half base times height to represent the area of the base, which is a triangle. And then lastly, times the height of the prism. And now we can substitute our numbers in one step. We'll have one half times the base of the triangle, which is 4, times the height of the triangular base, which is 5, and then times the height of the prism is 7. So, volume is going to equal 1 half times 4 times 5 is 10, times 7 leaves us with 70. So 70 inches cubed is our answer for this problem. 70 inches to the third power. And in our last guided example, we may be asked to find the volume of two objects and to compare the volume. And so, which lunchbox holds more food, A or B? Well, you can see where they found the volume of A by multiplying the length, the width, and the height to get 281 and 25 hundredths inches cubed. The volume of B to get 285 inches cubed. So, since 285 is larger than 281, B holds more food, even though it may look a little shorter than A. The truth is the volume indicates that it holds more food. That's it for this lesson on finding the volume of prisms. Good luck.